This is a double angle identity. We have double ide angle identities for sine and cos as well. What I want you to notice about this is that if you have a double angle identity, you can just as easily rewrite this as a half angle identity. What do I mean? You see how these guys are half of this value over here. So instead of going from here and then doubling, I can go from here and then half, just go in the other direction. Okay, here's what I mean. Let's just suppose I have tan theta on the left hand side. So I've halved this angle over here. Does that make sense? So therefore, I should halve all these angles over here, and it's still a legitimate identity. So here's what I'm going to write. 2 tan what? Half theta, or theta on 2. That's on the top. What's on the bottom? 1 minus tan squared theta on 2. Okay, so we call this guy the half angle identity for tan. It's the double angle identity, just dressed up in slightly different clothes. Okay. Now, this looks weird. Why would this open doors? Why would it be useful? We've seen the ways that these can be useful here. Okay. What we do is we say, actually, if you can work with this, this actually unlocks the link between trigonometry and algebra. That's really useful because you know a heck of a lot about algebra. You're really good at algebra. We spent years developing that. If we can hijack some of your knowledge and skill with that, with trig, that's kind of cool. So we say, let, and we introduce a new uh, pronoun rule. Since we're dealing with tan, we choose the letter T. And we say, well, let's let T equal this weird, awkward half angle thing. Tan of theta on two, okay? So if you introduce this, I'm going to rewrite this first line as, therefore, tan of theta equals two T. T. On one minus, one minus t, squared. t squared. Very good. So you can see what I've done is I've dressed up this trigonometric identity as algebra. Right? Now, what's even cooler about this is that if this is true, like I've just done a substitution, just relabel. If this is true, it implies that there's some right angle triangle somewhere out there in existence where opposite on adjacent, that's what 10 is, is 2t on 1 minus t squared. Opposite on adjacent. Let's draw that triangle. So underneath here, if you draw yourself a right angle triangle like so, let's put theta over here in the corner. <coughs> if tan theta is 2t on 1 minus t squared, then here's the opposite side over here to t, and here is the adjacent side. 1 minus t squared. That's a right angle triangle. So therefore, I can use Pythagoras to work out what the missing side is. Let's just call it, um, it's the hypotenuse, so let's just call it h for now. h squared is going to be equal to what? So there's one of the sides squared, and the other side squared, right? Okay, let's work with this a little bit. Let's operate on it. 2t all squared becomes 4t squared. Don't forget, you're squaring both terms. Uh, over here, okay, we're going to get some um, big powers, but that's okay, we can deal with that. This is going to be 1 minus 2t squared plus t to the 4. Okay, I can collect some like terms. I can, uh, let's see, I can collect these guys here. So that leaves me with 1 plus 2t squared, that's how many t squareds I have. Um, that t to the power of 4 just hangs out over there, on the right hand side. Now, I know you don't work with uh, powers of 4 very often, that's a quartic by the way, as we call it, but hopefully, if you think about this line, and how it compares to, say, this part of the previous line, do you recognise that what you're looking at right now is another perfect square? What is it the square of? Yeah, this is 1 plus t squared squared, is it not? Like, is the only difference between this guy and this guy <coughs> is that minus 2t squared is now a plus 2t squared. Well, that would work if I just change the sign a little bit. Okay. Uh, what's this whole thing? What am, I, what am I doing? What am I solving? <laughs> I'm trying to find the hypotenuse, right? Well, if the hypotenuse squared is that squared, 
Then the hypotenuse is just the thing inside the brackets. 1 plus t squared. Do you agree? Okay, so you can see how I just sort of relabeled things. I said, well, if you relabel like this, you've got a new triangle. Well, let's make the triangle. Let's see what happens with Pythagoras. <coughs> this is what I've got now. So tan theta is that. Now I can say what sine theta and cos theta are, because now I know all the sides in the triangle. Right? I can say, I'm going to do it here. Sine theta is opposite on hypotenuse, is it not? Which in this triangle is? 2t over 1 plus t squared. <coughs> and likewise, cos theta is, or conversely I should say, is adjacent on hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 minus t squared. We already identified that adjacent side on 1 plus t squared. Okay. So what we've now done is we said, and you can put a nice big box around this, we have a new way to reframe uh, all of the trigonometric functions, you can deal with all of them, sine, cos, and tan, without ever talking about sine, cos, and tan. You can just deal with them as algebraic objects. Okay? These results, because they all are in terms of this weird t thing that we call, we call them the t results. Okay? They are also often called, for this exact reason up here, the half angle results, because that's what the t's stand for tan of half your angle, okay? So sometimes, I'll put this on here. Sometimes, uh, particularly the older textbooks, um, will often call these not t results, but the half angle results or the half angle identities, okay? So, how is this useful to us? I will show you two ways in this lesson, and we can get started on them. And uh, you'll, you'll start to get an appreciation for why it looks a bit messy to start with and hard to learn. I should point out, the reference sheet has a lot of this. So if you ever like, oh my goodness, my brain is just intrigued. A lot of people just overload their brain with new stuff they need to memorize. The reference sheet is trying to tell you, don't worry about memorizing. Worry about working with these things, which is what we're going to do right now. 